still remember these. To be honest, I don't really. So I actually never saw someone use these cameras in uh, real life. And the reason for that is I'm simply too young. So this is an uh, eight millimeter camera, Super 8. And uh, this works by uh, putting a cartridge of film inside of here that is then exposed through this little window. And this gives you 18 frames per second, uh, low resolution, <laughs> crappy looking uh, videos. And in the early 80s, these died away almost instantly when video tape cameras became available. These tape cameras had sound, they had a nice 25 or slash 30 frames per second, depending on where you live. Uh, you could instantly uh, watch what you recorded, connect the, the, the camera to a TV and uh, yada yada. And these were so much better than these 8mm cameras where you had to buy cartridges, send them off to develop them and uh, wait, of course, and pay a lot of money. And so, yeah, these died away almost instantly. And Nowadays, uh, they are almost unusable right now because these uh, cartridges are really hard to get. You can find them still here and there, but um, shooting one roll of film will cost you roughly 60 euros. And this is 60 euros for three minutes worth of poor quality video. So <laughs> it's quite expensive to use them uh, like they were intended uh, to be used. Yeah, and so, Therefore, to give these cameras a new life, I did the obvious and developed a digital cartridge. So this has a sensor here uh, where the film was originally and a Raspberry Pi to record things with a micro SD card and a power bank to uh, power the setup and of course a small power switch. Um, there's also an optical sensor that detects uh, when the original camera is moving so that uh, this cartridge can start to film whenever the user presses this button. And this fits inside of here quite nicely. And then you're ready to shoot your videos. Oh, and by the way, since this is just nothing but a power bank, this is also the world's first uh, super 8 camera that can charge your phone. Hooray! <laughs> All right, let's uh, try to see how uh, good the videos are that you can make with this uh, device and yeah, give you some uh, examples. As you can see, we have live streaming video. So uh, there's some breakups because uh, the Wi-Fi isn't particularly good at this place here. But yeah, we can see a live image and we also have zoom controls. And this works quite nicely. And of course, files are also written onto the internal SD card of the camera. Uh, so. Uh, they won't suffer from the uh, transmission artifacts uh, with Wi-Fi. Yeah, and basically that's your camera. So th there's also a viewfinder. I'm trying to show you how that looks like if you look through that. Oh, it's really hard to show you roughly. This is the picture. So um, it covers quite nicely what you're actually seeing uh, here on the screen, screen. So, um, yeah, that works pr pretty nicely. So let me show you some um, direct captures of uh, videos that I took with this. And a quick warning ahead: this is the typical boring home movie, movie stuff, just to make it look uh, authentic. All right, enjoy. <laughs> Bye. 
As you saw, this camera gives some quite interesting looking uh, video footage and uh, this actually kind of surprised me. I did not expect that. So what I was expecting, uh, that you have a very quaint, uh, weird uh, type of camera which draws lots of attention if you film with it. First off, uh, because it looks uh, quite interesting. Second, <laughs> makes quite a lot of noise when you use it. Um, but I guess that is part of uh, the fun. So filming with this really feels as if you were filming with an 8mm camera because it looks the same, it sounds the same, it feels the same. So that's quite neat. But what I didn't expect was uh, the nature of the videos coming out of this. So uh, these videos feel also so much like uh, an 8mm recording. So yeah, just have a look here. and. It's hard for me to pinpoint why exactly that is. Um, so my best explanation is that uh, these videos have many tiny aspects uh, of eight millimeter uh, video, like for example, low frame rate, shakiness of the camera, uh, poor white balance, um, also poor optics. So um, these optics here are rather nasty so uh, they cannot really keep uh, the focus uh, well when you change zoom levels and also th there's some kind of shadow effect or blurriness i don't know exactly how to s describe that and um, my guess is that this comes from the prism that uh, redirects part of the light here to the viewfinder so yeah all in all <laughs> i was really surprised I but in fact really happy when I saw the footage because it's not uh, like you would sh shoot something um, with a cheap digital camera. It really looks like 8mm footage and I'm still puzzled by that. But yeah, <laughs> I'm quite happy about uh, the outcome here. So um, of course, if you want to rebuild uh, this, uh, the uh, schematics and the uh, CAD model and the software are running on the Pi are all available. You can find links to that uh, in the description of the video. And this should make it quite easy for you to build one of these for your camera. And they should fit universally into every camera because it just follows the standard cartridge format. And there's nothing um, fancy about that. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed uh, a look onto my uh, revival of this 8mm camera, which is, by the way, quite a nice unit. And yeah, as always, happy to hear any comments about someone who uh, also revived their 8mm cameras. All right, then, thanks a lot for watching and see you soon. Bye.